Hey peeps, how y'all doing today? Y'all doing good? That's good. The girls doing something. They're going out on the back porch. Y'all, it's cold. It's cold. Ugh. I don't know what the temperature is, but I know last night. They, what? Y'all y'all know. Um, I have to figure it out. I have to look stuff up. Cause I know it's cold. I don't know what last night was. Let's look at this. It's 30 degrees. What? What Shan? I just have to go all the way out there and throw a scarf in the yeah, y'all had it in y'all, uh, that's some white right there, right here. Y'all had all that guy. Oh, uh, you ain't got no lotion? Yeah, but I'm gonna put that on my face. Um, yeah, I just got the, yeah, it's. No, what? Calm down, Sharon, calm down. Let's take it easy. It's 30 degrees right now. Yeah. But last night, it was cold. It's supposed to be half 34 today. Go rain. She ain't flat out her hair yesterday. So everybody here is basically semi-straight. Why do you say semi-straight? Because you know how it don't be like... Yeah, I, yeah, you know, you got to go to the shop to get that bone straight type of situation going on. But it works for us. It's manageable. So today is Friday, December the 8th. Woo-hoo, T-G-I-L. Uh, at 12 o'clock, on the dot, 12 o'clock p.m. I done ate lunch already. What I have for lunch, I'm wondering. Man... She didn't fix the counter early, so I wasn't able to share. Well, I actually wasn't going to do a video today. But then, I watched the vlog, and they did a tag, and I decided I wanted to do this tag. So, I don't know if I'll be able to put this up today. But if I won't be able to put, if I don't put it up today, I try to put it up tomorrow or Sunday. But I still wanted to do this tag. It's called the Homemaker tag i like tags certain well i watch all kind of tags but this is certain tags that pique my interest that i would kind of want to do yeah so um yeah so i want because i was just gonna regroup and um get ready for this weekend coming up i don't even think i fully 100 percent regroup from the last weekend I think when I had to go to the grocery store, that take a lot out of me. And we went to the grocery store last weekend. That's what happened. That's probably why I was so ooh, exhausted. It just took me a minute to regroup. I think today and this Friday where I'm kind of feeling my best. And tomorrow I'm going out, but it ain't nothing major. So... I don't know. Next week, it shouldn't be that complicated. I don't know. But I be trying to stay up all night and watch TV, too. That's another thing, y'all. Why they here? Um, some came on. What's love got to do with it? It came on last night on Bounce. It came on at 12, 11. It went off at 1. I think I just got to the part when she had just had the first baby. But Tina Turner just had the first baby. And I fell asleep. I couldn't hang and everything. But anyway, y'all. It's cold. I got my heat on 73. That old dog. I'm taking dog. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Let me get into this tag. Because I just really want to do this tag. But... I don't know it's 20 questions but y'all know me when I hey hey so let's do this let's get our homemaker tag on uh did I tell y'all what I ate for lunch I had two uh tacos leftover 
turkey meat tacos. It was good. She had put some onions on it. That just set it off right there. Okay, first question. Question number one. I think kind of leaning. Could be my ass. I don't know. Have you ever had anyone say anything negative negative to you about staying at home or working from home? I wish nah. <laughs> no. I don't know. To me, maybe behind my back. You know, people good at doing stuff like that. But nah, not in my face, y'all. Really. Really. What? <laughs> Number two, what is your favorite, least favorite part of staying home or working from home? My, my favorite thing, favorite part of staying at home. Okay, my favorite part of staying at home is I could be here when my kids leave for school. That was very important when they was going to public school. Well, even Georgia, he still go to public school. Seeing what they got on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, being here when they come home. Seeing what time. Hey, I know what time you get out of school. But what time did you come through that door? I mean, I had to watch all this type of stuff. So, yeah, I mean, just being at home to watch. And helping my kids with their homework. Being here to help them with science projects. And going to, I was able to go to, like, look like school uh things they would have at school like plays assemblies and all that i was able to do that and everything and so that's my favorite part and i think it's just it's a comfort and the security for the kids to know that when they walk in the door or when they leave i'm here or when they walk in the door i'm here because that's how it was when I was growing up. When I used to leave, my mama was there. When I came home, she was there. It just make you feel, it's a feeling you get inside knowing that and everything. And I needed to be here because some of my, my oldest kids, man, get in fights. Uh, I needed to have a school conference. I would have been having to take off work all the time. I would have probably ended up losing the job eventually anyway. So I needed to be here and... The the most favorite part of it now is that I'm able to homeschool the last stretch. You know what I'm saying? So, I really love that. My least favorite part of being at home? Oh, uh, nothing really. I don't have a least favorite part about being... I love being at home. I always wanted to be able to be at home to take care of my kids and watch my kids you know so i don't have a least favorite part about staying at home and i wish no i'm just saying <laughs> question number three what is your favorite or at least favorite chore y'all should already know this my favorite chore is, I love vacuuming. It's so therapeutic. I don't know if it's the noise. You know how babies, they, it's like certain sounds be like soothing to them and make them go to sleep. It's something about the vacuum, that sound. I mean, I could just push, push, go over, go over. I like, I love vacuuming and I love, which I didn't. I think I used to always like vacuuming, but I like washing dishes. I didn't always like washing dishes. I, I grew into that. I love, it's something about the water. And it's just something about seeing something dirty and getting it clean. And then seeing how a kitchen started off looking all cluttered and stuff and then finish it. You feel like you done created a masterpiece in your kitchen when it's clean. Yeah. So, um, then my favorite chores, my least favorite chore is dusting. I don't know what hey hey feel like, but I have a very, very, very strong dislike for dusting. I do not like dusting, y'all. I don't like dusting. It's just so much stuff catch dust. It ain't like you just dusting like two or three things. No, you got to dust everything. Walls, baseboards, ceilings, furniture. Everything catch dust. Everything. And it's just like, oh my gosh. Oh, you have to really set like a whole, 
Man, you have to have dusting on the schedule if you want to be a detail duster. <sighs> Anyways, dusting stresses me out, can't y'all tell? Uh, four, what time do you wake up and what time do you go to bed? I wake up during the weekdays between 8.30 and 8.45. Normally, if I got the wash, 8 o'clock. Okay, well, I wake up. Ser I wake up before that, cause I have. I be. I wake up when the hubby leave, and then I get back in the bed. I wake up again when the sunny leave, cause I walk everybody to the door. But I get back in the bed. Normally, I do fall back to sleep, but when I woke and out out the bed for good around eight thirty, eight forty five, because homeschooling start at nine o'clock. So yeah, and on weekends, man, that that. I try to get out the bed around 10 or 10 30 but most of the time I be woke so yeah I just lay there like cuz I can and what time I go to bed now <laughs> it all depends on what's on TV I mean if you got roots coming on cuz that came on the other night roots they had like the first part of roots for two hours and another part for another two hours. I'm like, really, Sharon? You better not even try because you know you got to watch Wednesday. So that was Tuesday night. I literally turned the TV and put it on some boring. But I, it was like, oh, I had to really, really go to sleep because I was fighting myself not to watch Roots. And I got, I got the movie, but it was on TV. I was like, what? And what's love got to do with it? That's like one of my favorite movies. So it all depends. I mean, huh. any, I'm a night owl. I always have been because I used to clean up at night when my kids went to sleep. So I always been like a night owl. I always woke up early and went to bed late. It might change as I continue to get older, but for, some, for the most part, oh man, it's hard. Because the hubby, when he used to work at nights, I used to be up sometimes 1 o'clock, 1.30 talk to him on the phone <clears throat> but I think my max is one o'clock I think if I'm well well rested I can push one after that I'm in la la land so question number five do you put anything on in the background while you clean work or cook nope I don't know I used to I used to, but now, I don't know, I just like the quietness. I just go into my mental zone now, so I don't really, need, I wouldn't hear it anyway, because I be focused, you know, like, I be having a mental list, or even if I write it out, I be just trying to focus on, finish what I have to finish, and be detailed about it when I'm doing it. So I really don't have anything on when I'm cooking, or cleaning. Or working. No. I just like to listen to music normally in my downtime. Or when I'm not in a good place mentally and emotionally. I like to listen to music. Uh, um, okay. Question number six. Do you get dressed most days or stay in PJs? I'm in my gowns all day, every day. Unless I go out. As soon as I come in, I'm back in my gown. I like to be comfortable, and my gowns are very, very, very comfortable. I don't like a whole lot of... No. Yes, I love my gowns. Seven. How often do you do your hair and makeup? Low. I just oiled my hair. And I don't wear makeup, so... Nah. But how often do I do my hair? I really don't do my hair like that. My kids do my hair, and I might be like every other week when I get it washed. And in between that, it just be as it is. It, I'm, I'm just going to scarf it. <laughs> uh, the question number eight, what is your trouble zone or area in your home that needs the most help? Oh, I think this whole level right here is good. Because we, we be on it. The girls do their part. I do my part. 
it's the basement where the hubby area at. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. His area. But, I be mean, cause he be rolling them tobacco and stuff that just be everywhere. And it's the basement in that area where he be at. And where his little tools and stuff at, it's just kind of cluttered and stuff. But hey, if we had a shed, it would be much easier. But you try to have a shed over here? <laughs> Woo, people become carpenters and undo your shed and take your stuff out. For real. Uh, uh, just destroy us, tearing up the wood. So he had to keep everything in the basement and he got a lot of stuff. So them be, to me, them the trouble areas. Everything else is good. Sometimes the sunny room. <laughs> and she in them closet. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, number nine. How often do you find yourself getting distracted? <laughs> when I'm not. That's that's part of my makeup. I don't I mean Hey, I play, I be playing a Facebook game, then I start watching vlog, play on Facebook, get them on Facebook, reading and stuff. I be all over the place, but it works for me. I'm good. I'm good. So, I'm just, I'm, I'm easily to, dis I'm easy, but I know how to get back focused, you know. I get distracted. I go over here, go over there, but I find my way back to wherever I need to be. Yeah. That's probably why I used to get on wrong, get on the wrong bus, going different. Man, I done did some crazy stuff with that being distracted situation. Okay, number ten. Do you enjoy staying home or do you miss going to a job every day? Okay, <laughs> I work some jobs. I worked at Target before. I don't have quite a few jobs here and there. I worked at Toys R Us, so I don't have jobs here and there. But, I love staying at home. I don't miss going, look, it's cold, look. I would be a seasonal job, a seasonal worker even if I did work, cause I won't work in the winter. Oh no, and the north in the summer. <laughs> cause that heat. Well, that's why I'm at home, y'all. But it was at one point. I was at a place where I wanted to go work and the hubby was like, no, I want you to stay home and watch the kids. And he kept, cause you know, sometimes finances will get tight. I'm like, yeah, I could go out here and I could help and everything by getting a job and stuff. And he was like, no, nah, I got it. So I just want you to stay home and you know, be there for the kids, this, that, and the other. And I used to every now and again, like suggest that and he'll always like, no, 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 no. So now I'm at a point like, I would never suggest that today. Like, okay, I get it. Uh-uh, I work. I work already. I do a lot of work. Consider I probably do more work at home than I probably would do on a job, for real. So, yeah. Number 11, what is your never-ending chore? <laughs> Dusty. <laughs> Vacuuming. I vacuum so many times a day, for real. Oh my gosh. But it's a good thing I like doing it. And it's a good thing that I don't have a heavy vacuum cleaned out. And, and it's easy to just grab it and keep it moving. And I use the hand vac. I be just getting stuff and cracks and crevices if I see it. So that's kind of never any. And um, dusting, man. I be having to dust something like if I if I really would do it every day. For real, because my room, I just dusted my TV, my uh, dresser off when I went in the room to get the uh, tripod. Because, I don't know. Gosh, I guess dust come from clothes and stuff. Lint. I don't know, y'all. We need to talk to the dust gods or something. Okay. Dusting is my never-ending show in vacuum. Twelve. What is your favorite way to relax or have me time? Playing my games. Man, y'all just don't know. That is so, 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 so therapeutic. And it happened like when my older kids was in high school, man. 
teenagers in high school, that's a journey. I just needed stuff to keep my brain calm. And it, there was, like, right there. I had computer games I downloaded first. Just games. And a bath. Oh, my God. That's, like, for my body and for my brain, too. Like, water. Soaking. Hot water. Just... I don't do nothing but just be there and space out. <laughs> Cal gonna take me away for real. So, yeah. Games... Um, and, uh, yeah, games and baths. What I mean, y'all? 13. How often does your husband or significant other chip in? Oh, he help a lot. He do, he have a list. <laughs> That's why. Because other than that, it, it's a, it, it will be a whole struggle. But because I give him a list every month. And he completed at his own pace, but it, he get her done and everything. And sometimes I have to, like, ask him, did you do the... Because the way I get it, he have his... I type it out, and I look at it, and he checks it off as he do it. And sometimes I glance at it, he have it downstairs on his dresser down there. And I'm like, he ain't checked that off, so did you do that? Oh, I'm going to get to the... Uh, okay. But he, he 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 take out the garbage. He got to do that. He clean. He do yard work. He do, he handle all the yard, backyard, front yard, leaves, snow, all that. And when he was here during the day, he would wash dishes for me on Thursdays and Fridays. Uh, when he was like he put up the clothes, I wash the clothes. He'll put the clothes up. So. Yeah, big hair, big hair. But we kind of established that back in the day when I was having, I had a lot of babies and stuff. I need help. Help a sister out. So we already got it going like that. We just, he just know to help me. I don't need it as, I don't need it as much. But I think we, he, it's, he just kind of programmed to do it now. So yeah. Um, next question. 15. How do you balance being a homemaker and creating YouTube content? Well, it's not that hard for me because my kids is 14 and 15. Back in the day, it wasn't on YouTube. Yeah, 2009, but my kids were smaller back then. I couldn't have did it. Oh, no. I couldn't have made no YouTube videos and be raising no kids. No, 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 no toddlers. Uh, people be doing them like power. But I couldn't have did it. Man. Mm -mm. But today, yeah, I picked my time, y'all. <laughs> I could do it today. So it's it's not it's not complicated. It's just like cause I do reads and stuff. I be needing taking I be needing to take breaks just because it takes a lot out of me when I do that. And then I be doing I like I love to edit my videos. So I, I be wanting to take my time and do that. So yeah, it, it's not hard for me to balance it. Sixteen. What is your favorite room in your home and why? My living room. I always loved my living room. That's why I said my living room and my dining room. Them like my the places I always be. Cause that just happened with having kids. You got to always be in a place where you can see what's going on. And my living room was that place for me. Like, what you doing? Where you going? Why you in the kitchen? Why you in the refrigerator? What you doing? <laughs> All that type of stuff. So and that's why I try to make it. I decorate to suit me since I'm at home. I have to look at it. And when I whatever I look at, I want it to be like, ah, I like that. So I decorate my home to fit me. Cause I am the homemaker. <laughs> so yeah, my living room, my dining room, I'm being the bedroom like that. Oh, that's that's the hubby space. He always here in the bedroom. He be in there watching TV. He just like to, you know, about working nights mostly. That's, he'll be laying down during the day and stuff. So, he always had the bedroom. And so, I always had the living room. Because I always was watching the one up. Uh, watching over the kids. And making sure this is done. Making sure they don't burn a house down. And making, just making sure. Just making sure. Okay. Let's keep it moving. Huh? Oh. Okay, 17, what is your least favorite room in your home and why? 
My least favorite place in this house and why? I think it'd be my laundry area. Cause I want a laundry room. I want a serious laundry room. I never had one of those. I might not never have one, but it's okay. Cause it's just to get laundry done, right? But I would like to have a little room. Just, well, I did have one in the other place, but it wasn't big where I could really like have it that would look in the way I would like for it to look. So my life, it's just my laundry area. I, Cause everywhere else I could decorate. I, I, I just make it do what it do. So yeah, but the basement overall, I like the basement, it's just that laundry room. I don't like the walls either. But anyways, let's keep it moving. 18. I'm almost done, y'all. What? Do you feel your home reflects your personality, personal style? Yes. My home reflects me. It does. It has my colors. Got my Jesus lives because I love my Heavenly Father. I love my Lord and Savior, so I have to represent that. I love my colors. I love flowers. I can't do real flowers, so yeah, I got fake flowers everywhere. And it's playful and creative, just like me. So it reflects me, yeah. Whatever you see, most of the time, I'm the decorator, the hubby. You know, he really don't be having no input. He be like, whatever, just let me do whatever. And I, like, I be having the little hearts and stuff everywhere and stuff. That's me. Because I have a whole lot of love in my heart. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that'd be, that'd be me. Oh. Uh, and it say why I explain that. 19, what does your home smell like? Oh. Cold air. <laughs> 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 it smell like it smell like cold. I don't know. I can't smell my house. Uh, I would have to ask my kids when they come over, like, what my house smell like? Because you know, when you be when you in your home all day, every day, you just get immune to sin. But I'm not the type that burn my candles every day. I can't afford to burn candles every day because I be trying to stretch my candles because I don't have a whole lot of candles. One day I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a stash of candles. One day, but I ain't got there yet. I have yeah I have to do other stuff with my money like other stuff. But yeah, I need to give me some more candles anyway. But I don't know cause I'm cleaning, you know, I'm mopping. Last night it smelled like, um, cause I had to reveal my the all this from the hallway to up in here and everything. And I used that method, uh, almond wood floor cleaner. Love it. So it smelled like that last night. I don't know if it's still lingered to this morning. Then we clean up the bathroom. We use certain cleaning products, washing dishes. So I think all kind of smells is just a mixed up in my house, you know, cause yeah, we food, we be cooking. I just had some tacos, so it might smell like something being cooked. Yeah, good question. 20. Oh, voila! Well, number 20, I did, yeah, I made it. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I don't I don't think, I, don't, I just don't care. I think I'm going to always have a long video because I'm kind of long-winded when I start talking to y'all because... Y'all don't know ones I talk to. Nah, nah. Y'all ain't the only ones I talk to, but you know. Me and my camera, we like that. We like this. We like this. I'm one with the camera. Twin, <clears throat> what is your strong point and weak point? No. Let me reread that. What is your strong point and weak spot when it comes to homemaking? What is your strong point? Um A strong point is taking care of the house, holding it down, watching over my house, being here for my kids, keeping it clean, um, being here, just being here for, for just being here, you know, just being accessible. When a hubby call, I'm here. He can talk to me. If he having a rough day, I'm here. Call me. Calm down. Get it together. Regroup. All right. Go back and do what you got to do. Um... Just all that. Them are my strong points of homemaking. 
and being able to decorate my home and being able to, uh, man, I, I, I just like to feel. It makes me feel good. So the reflection of my decorating, every when, it, when I look at it, what I get from it makes me have peace on the inside and it keeps me calm. And that's real. Um, and what is my weak spot in homemaking? I don't know. Do I have a weak spot in homemaking? I've been doing this so long. I think I kind of got my homemaking thing down, down pat. But, uh, hmm. I can't think of now. Not, not trying to say I'm all that, but I just can't think of now. <laughs> So, I don't know. What is my weak spot when it comes to homemaking? Can't think of nothing, y'all. Because I don't have a lot of time to do this. So, I kind of got a routine together. I kind of got it. I just got it together, you know. It took maybe back, maybe 10 years ago, a long get at. Whoa. I probably would have had a long list. But today, I think... I think I don't get it, you know. I don't know arrived in a lot of eras in my life where I'm good, you know. So yeah, that concludes my home. I printed these. Uh, I copy and pasted these from somebody's website. I mean, yeah, on somebody's stuff, and put them on my on the paper. Printed them out. So yeah, don't nobody never have to tag me to do a tag because I, hey, I tag myself. That's why I do. So I think that's about it, peeps. I had a things to do list. Uh, reveal mop was on my list. Last night I did that. I had to empty my vacuum that was right there. I go on that cold porch. Yeah, I did that. And I had to write out their cleanup list for Sunday. So they got a, this is their monthly cleanup list. And I wrote that out and stuck it on the refrigerator. And I oiled and twisted my hair just to kind of like so I won't get matted up on me and put some bark on y'all. Look, look. What? <laughs> So, yeah, that's what's happening. And I think that's about it. Um, yeah, I could edit all these ums and yells out. So, I'm just thinking. Next week, I got to wash dishes. I don't mind washing dishes. It's cool. I love cleaning my kitchen. Who on came a long way, y'all? Man, because when I was staying home with my mama... Uh, that was like the worst chore ever then. But ain't that something how you look at your look back over your life as a kid and the stuff you didn't like to do or like to do, like now it's like reverse. It's kind of what you like to do, like go outside and hang out with your friends and play in the snow and all that type of stuff. Be on the phone all day. Now you and when your mom like, um, Clean up. You ain't like doing none of that. Uh, laundry, I never really do. I used to help her with the laundry, but I didn't actually have to do all of it. But just those type of cleaning situations, washing dishes, cleaning refrigerators, I still don't like dusting. So that that don't, that's just off by itself. But I done came into cleaning. I And a lot of that other stuff, it's a wrap. Hanging out. Uh, talking on the phone all day, playing in the snow, going to parties, going to house clubs. So it's sure down now how when you look back over life and the things back then meant, meant so much when you would get your mama tell you, you no, know, you have an attitude like. I used to be like, Mom, can I go to the store with my friend? Nah, you ain't finish your homework now. I can go to the store anytime I want to go to the store. And I still don't. I don't be want to go to the store. 
<laughs> I'm like, oh gosh, you know? So, yeah. But on that note, y'all, I'm through. And I hope everybody have a blessed day because I don't know when I'm going to upload this video. I hope everybody have a blessed day, safe day, and a productive day. Get her done. Who attack? I'll watch it. Um, a uh, protective day weekend. How a protective weekend? They still are carjacking people, y'all. It's too cold to be carjacking. What? <laughs> Man, women better start. They better. They better. They better get some mace, a taser that pop out twenty feet or something. Because, for real. It's that serious. We got to, women, we got to arm up, you know, whatever. If it's just some pepper spray, some maize, some tasers, two tasers, like the Wild Wild West type of situation, my bat, bam, you know, do, hey, come on, especially when we know we got to be out here. Even in driving, man, you got to walk, you got to walk out the house with your taser in your hand. <laughs> I mean, they need to start creating stuff, making stuff. For females, for these type of situations, man, it'd be nice if like you could have like a little device when they carjacking your car and they don't know you got it. And when they get ready to sit in your seat, they get electrocuted. <laughs> And everything you like it call did you call now one one and they you know too. Come on, come on. They coming up with all these other type of inventions now. They can come up with something more creative for uh, people with this car jacket. Sit up and analyze it, dissect it, whatever y'all do, stra stra strategies, strategies, genes, or whatever. And figure this thing out. And, 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 and this is the stuff that matters. People will buy that. And everything like for real, especially for women, where we can have a little device we can punch that's connected with our car or something. And even like with uh oh, uh, that'd be hard when you getting robbed. You just got to walk out with you just instead of having any phones in our hands, we need to straight up have tasers and pepper spray. Like, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, like. A taser in one hand, a pepper spray in another hand. That's it. even if you jogging, yep. What? So, man, we gotta start. We gotta start just. I mean, doing it. You know, men's. I mean, they don't run up on men's like that because men's be they, they go there. But women, we got to start taking it up another notch, you know? Like, hey, self-defense, karate class, judo, something. You know, even with older people, they doing older people. Ugh, they making me mad, y'all. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. And it ain't enough policemen you could put out here on the streets to catch them because they, they just slick, you know? But... Yeah, um, I'm gonna leave all that alone because I just done got wired up on, on off of that. But uh, have a protective weekend, and on that note, I'm out. Peace and love, share some, and I'll see you next week. I'm out. <laughs>